Mick Gordon is one of the most iconic and important sound designers in recent years, from his work on the Doom video games to Bring Me the Horizon's Parasite Eve, and now to his work on Monuments' as Lavos. In this clip, George shows you how he mixes Mick's work by using the main synth line as the North Star to balance the rest of the post-production. Check it out and enjoy. I'm gonna go to this section here and just take a listen at where we're at volume-wise and then decide where we are at tonally. Okay, other thing to bear in mind when you're working with a lot of post-production, Mick has not done it, but a lot of people do it and it will kill your speakers as soon as you hit play. A lot of people when they export post-production normalize. They, it destroys all the gain staging that's happened and if you play back 30, 40 tracks of normalized audio with no trim in place, you are just going to kill <laughs> everything for, in terms of hearing for that day. Put a trim in place and over um over protect yourself normally i'd hit it at minus 18 because if it's been normalized just bring it down to minus 18 minus 30 and protect yourself make sure you don't kill your hearing for the rest of the day otherwise that sucks and we're going to listen to it up against the guitars it being the synth that we've got soloed <laughs> So I wonder how many people will have done this. So to me, I actually want to hear it an octave lower. And that was my only want. Where is it? Here we go. Little altar boy. And we're going to bring it down an octave, drive it, and then I'm going to mix. And we've got a bit of, it's not acidity, I'm going to guess, I'm going to go with the cooking analogies, salt, which is up here. And we check it against the band. Sounds good. Okay. We've now done this with one element. So this is what I would call seated. So this uh, obviously is here to double up the guitars based upon the sound and the thing that it's playing. We can now, for the most part, balance every single other element off against this one track without needing to hear it against the band and then readjust after the fact. The reason for this is because we now know that this is our guitars and then how we want to hear stuff in relation to that should be fairly straightforward. So we can bring in the, I am i don't know how to pronounce that, that's a Russian synth, I think. And I was playing with this towards the end of the mix. Ah, let's go with that one. That one looks about right. Right, let's bring down the output so I don't kill your ears. Alright, let's 
So now that that's moving, so what I did was I hit the tap tempo and I was just tapping in the pattern that I wanted. We're just going to push it out wide and see how that feels. Cool. The only thing to take care of now is that there's a resonant like mid-range thingy. Next one. Okay, that should form our basis. And now we can start looking at the strings and bringing those up against everything. All right, so strings are a bit tricky. So we're going to load up. Mm, let's go with a Neve, and then we're going to load up the new custom Opto that Slate just released. Strings are tricky. They get really... Um, what's the word? Really aggressive really quickly, um, especially in the 2K area. I feel like maybe I'm mishearing it. It might be 4K. So what I'm looking for is I'm trying to cram the information more towards the mid-range so that I can get it to meet the synths. Pardon me. And as a result of the compression, we can now start to pick out um, reverb frequencies that might need to come. Sorry, I spoke too soon. Reverb frequencies that might need to come out. What's this one? Is it going to solo? No, probably not. There we are. What are you? I'm going to hazard a guess. I think I can now unmute all of this. And I think it will be ballpark okay. So let's find out. Let's see how we are now. Let's find this. Okay, that's got a bit of mid-range that needs coming out. Cool. Let's go again. Cool. I mean, it's a good starting point. Let's see about these risers and stingers. I reckon they are going to be too loud because there is a lot of them. Let's do minus eight and see how we fare.
bottom. That guy needs to come up. Ah, but that might be a top bus thing. Let's not automate that just yet. Let's hear the percussion come in. We've got a lot of them, so we're just going to hedge our bets. Minus six. Sounds weak and boring. Let's go this way around. Let's push the thunder up. So I think the toms can probably come up. This stuff can come up because we've also got to remember that there is a singing section above this. I just want to hear more of this. I think this is this is this is the coolest thing. Oh, do I want to delay it? No, it's already delayed. Let's push it into reverb. The idea of making drums out of thunder is mad. Just next level, really fucking cool. And it was like one of the things that was really um, excited to ho and I hoped that I would hear from Mick as a result of getting files like this because I really wanted to hear some creative stuff that I'd never heard before. cool sound actually that I love here. Is it this? This one? And then before? I mean, this sounds, I'm really stoked already. <laughs> Let's uh, bring in some of the tonal stuff and see if it helps at all. Not super apparent there. A little clearer here. It might just be because I've gained down this. It's curling it a little. It's not as strong as it normally is. It's not going to hurt to leave it in. And then we've also got a side chain hopefully linking to the kick, which is this track, which we can check. And the reason why I use uh, FabFilter C2 for this is because you can determine how much, how much gain reduction it's going to do, so it can't overshoot. And then you tweak based upon that, so then you, you can create this fake pocket for your kick drum against any post-production so you're not going to get lost or anything because we've already set something really great so there's no reason to really muck, muck around with the low end of these tracks Mick has done his job we can just create a pocket for the kick drum to exist within I'm trying to think what the most dense section is going to be to double check we could probably do this section 